Good morning, uh, Cowboy Ron here again today. <clears throat> a little bit slow uh, getting some news. There hasn't been uh, any earth-shattering news around the world that I found. Um, by the way, uh, this is just a little taste of what I found on the news. <clears throat> and if you want more in-depth uh, coverage of it, I've posted all this on my uh, news blog site, CowboyRon.com. Appreciate if you go on here, and also appreciate if you subscribe to this YouTube uh, just a couple updates before I get moving. I have bought a camcorder. I haven't learned how to hook it up to my computer yet, where I'll be able to do some uh, amusement things for you, uh, some rope tricks, gun tricks, etc. But let's talk about what we got today. This is going to be a little bit longer than you. Let me get a little sip of coffee here. Well, the Democrats have moved the South Carolina to be the first primary in the United States. And I'm not really uh, a big fan of this. Uh, they've obviously done it to enhance their chances of uh, winning more elections. But you see, when we have the smaller states like Iowa and New Hampshire, then uh, someone who is not really known that well has a chance to participate. A good example was Jimmy Carter, uh, unknown governor of uh, Georgia. He got up there in those, one of those two primaries, I think Iowa, um, put him in the mainstream. Same thing with uh, 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 Johnson, who's run for re-election. He got beat in one of those primaries up there. So if you're going to go to a bigger state, which is um, uh, like South Carolina, millions of voters there, you're going to have to have a lot of money to go in there. Uh, they're also banking on the uh, African-American votes uh, carrying them over. The good news is the Democrats always have a way of cutting off their nose to spite their own face. African-Americans and people of color are moving closer to the Republican Party now because they find out that the Democrats were just using them, taking them for granted. At least that's the way a lot of them feel. It's going to take a massive amount of money. Now, this will bite the Democrats the first time a rich Republican comes in and captures the state because he outspends them and he has a good message. Well, then they'll want to change the law again. How often do I think they want to change the laws? Yes, I do. I'll give you an example. If you could decide who's going to be the next president of the United States, on a flip of a coin, heads you win, tails you lose, the first time that they lost, they went to Denver to make a three-sided coin. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, oh, yeah, this is important. Tuesday uh, is the Georgia primary, and this is going to be very important. Uh, not, and I will tell you, I support Walker. Uh, but we need, we need to pick up that state if we're going to keep uh, the Senate from being able to overrule everything that we do. And I think that he will win, uh, uh, definitely, if the people look at what this other guy stands for. Uh, I think letting people out of jail who hasn't served a proper amount of time. And I repeat, proper amount of time. My opinion, how long does, does someone stay in jail? They stay in jail until society can be assured that they will not come out and commit crimes again. I don't want persons staying there a day longer than it's necessary prevent them from getting in trouble. Okay. Oh, yeah, here's a story. They're talking about a four-day work week. <coughs> uh, go on the news to see what you think of it. I posted that story on CowboyRon.com. Uh, four-day work week could be good for people, in my judgment, who uh, have a job where you can work uh, 12, 14 hours a day. When I was a tour bus driver, uh, we got a lot of 16-hour days in. One of the reasons was that uh, I lived 70 miles from the city, and uh, I didn't want to go home and rush hour traffic. So uh, four 16-hour days, and I could have three days off, and I could do other things. It wouldn't be for everyone, uh, but the four-day work weekend, in my judgment, if it does not equate to 40 hours a week, productive work, then it's, it shouldn't be implemented. Let's go down here. 
I picked up a story on the BBP uh, press. It says Trump calls for a constitutional um, amendment. Uh, didn't go into in depth, but I got a feeling that the, Democrat, the Democrats are involved in this, so they've probably taken his comments out of uh, context. So why don't you go on there and, and go into it in depth and uh, post your opinion. Your opinions are always welcome on Cowboy Ron. Now, must free speech Twitter is coming under uh, attack. I think it's a good thing. I, I don't see what anybody could uh, criticize if everybody's allowed to put their opinion on there. Of course, we don't want anybody to do anything that's dangerous, but the Democrats are supposed to be for free speech, but yet they want to censor uh, this guy can't be on there because he feels this way, that guy can't be on there. And who is it to decide if information is not appropriate? They took doctors off and said these masks were not good ideas. Well, I think a doctor's opinion is about as as important of opinion as you're going to get. Again, it is an opinion. Opinion is sort of like a rectum. Everybody has one. But I think um, Musk is doing a good job. I think uh, Twitter is going to be restored to uh, where people have confidence. Uh, I wrote something on my uh, blog site, CowboyRon.com. I posted it under quotes, quotes by Cowboy Ron, and great opinions. I give myself the benefit of the doubt. We've all heard that money is the root of all evil. Well, I'll tell you this, uh, money is also the root of all bad decisions. And when we get broke, we, we do make bad decisions because we have no money. Okay. Now here's a cute little story. Uh, a reckless driver turns out to be a dog behind the wheel uh, of a vehicle in a Texas parking lot. I guess they let the handbrake off and it coasted down. Uh, I had a relative of my uh, of ours uh, had the same thing. A German Shepherd hit the, uh, uh, knocked it out of gear and it coasted down the hill and it was behind the uh, steering wheel. And people thought the dog was actually driving the car. Dogs are great companions, but they're not up to driving quite yet. Although my uh, border collie has almost three quarters of a million miles in a semi and personal vehicles. Another earth shaking news. I wish I could give you a drum roll. China seeks to dominate space. Warned by one of the U.S. generals. Again, go on cowboyron.com. Uh, I'll post that story on there. Uh, well, yes, um, I can see where they'd want to do that. There's uh, military advantages. But think about this. We don't know how many, uh, uh, what these different planets, kind of minerals they have. They could be minerals on there that would make battery charging easy. Uh, minerals that could uh, uh, be enhanced in the medicine. So... For people to say there's nothing out of space, I say as Americans, we must go out there and see what nothing looks like. And here's a big story. Iran to disband uh, morale police on going protests, one of our attorney generals says. Um, I think they'll disband it for uh, a little bit until they can get to high grounds again. I don't find that these people are very trustworthy. Uh, they're extremists. Uh, <coughs> a rationalization if everybody was killed except uh, people subscribe their religion, there'd be no excuse for wars. Now, that's not true because if you had all one religion, then someone's going to have a vision that they're supposed to run the church. It looks like inflation is going to be with us for a while. Um, there's a lot of opinions on inflation. Uh, um, I think gasoline has went down just a little bit, but that's it. Food is, I'm paying about 20% more for food than what I did before they got started. <coughs> and this comes from a person I really don't pay attention uh, when I go shopping, but even I'm noticing it now. When I was on the truck, uh, and I'd go in and get a week's supplies for me and a scooter, I'd spend about $68, $70 dog food and stuff I could cook on the truck and now it's up to about 117 
So inflation is here no matter what the uh, uh, the Biden administration wants to tell you about it. Are they going to solve the problems? Uh, who knows? I, I, my best guess is we're going to have to get someone like Larry Cutlow back in there, again, a Republican administration, and uh, do away with this la-la land mentality. Well, I think that's about everything I have. It looks like we did about 10 minutes. I appreciate you sharing your time with me. Again, I need uh, some subscriptions, uh, subscribers on my YouTube. Also, I need more uh, subscribers on CowboyRon.com. So, until next time, thank you for your time and your attention and your patience. I hope you have a nice day. Cowboy Ron, signing off.